Hello, this is uh, Dave, and uh, welcome to Equity Story. I'm with uh, Wolf, and uh, although the market is very, very tough, Wolf, isn't it? I mean, even today it was looking a little bit better. Now we're getting the sell-off again. Um, so uh, obviously this is not a trending market or short-term market. It's, it's it's certainly not. But what we're going to look at today is uh, four stocks we think you should start. You know, you should be interested. Um, you know, the sales coming. We think the market's going to get a lot cheaper. But we've got four stories that we're really going to have a look at closely today. Uh, before we do that, we're just going to put on a trade. And the trade is the US dollar. We spoke about this one the other day. Um, look at the price action. Very, very good. Breaking up absolutely superb. So, you know, nice buy at $13.61. We'll target uh, $14. And uh, I think we'll have a nice little stop loss Wolfie. Maybe around that, say, $13.39 level. Before before we go on further, did you did you, did you show the disclaimer to everyone? Uh, uh, yeah, don't listen to Wolf, just listen to me. Uh, no, this is obviously just general share advice and not personal advice. Thank you. Um, um, thanks, uh, thanks, that Wolf. Um, yeah, I think we changed the disclaimer. Dave's always right. Wolf's always wrong. Uh, uh, is that a disclaimer? Is it? Yeah, that's a disclaimer. All the technicals, yeah. forget about the fundamental. Yeah. If you're no, gonna, yeah. market, fair enough. If you're going to listen to fundamentals, then you've got a problem. Um, oh, God. So anyway, we're going to put that trade on. Uh, yep. Wolf, obviously, a trade that didn't work was DTL. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's we're going to have to cut it, unfortunately. But uh, much better to cut this and obviously to hold it. Because what what you're seeing, Wolf, is stocks going lower and lower. And, I'm, you know, I'm looking at NTO. Mm -hmm. And you can see these companies that we've been talking about, oh, my gosh, that are making no profit. They're just on a. They're just on free fall. They've fallen out of the plane. I mean, they, they, you, know, you know what it is. I think there's a there's a theme here for sure. One hundred percent. You're looking at the. Yeah, they're growing the revenue to top line, but they're still hugely burning cash. Right. The market doesn't want to know these companies at all until they get to that profitability level. Really, at in this moment in time, when there is a uh, rotation, when you look at uh, you know the dynamics of globally, what's happening with the imminent interest rate rises around the globe that's 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 the thing you've got to get out of those stories and you've got to find yourself some other to wants to play with which we'll talk about in a moment yeah no it's um companies that are just going on these big uh, revenue runs that mm -hmm. people want to see profits mm. or at least you know a huge improvement on the, on the bottom line you cannot just keep going with a negative you know burning cash it's just it's just unsustainable Right, Wolf. So um, anyway, so we're going to put the US dollar on as a, mm -hmm. as a trend. So and uh, obviously the details will be on the trade watch video. So uh, at least we found something right where hopefully we can make a little bit of money on um, yep. stocks that obviously had announcements out the other day. Uh, Pro Prophecy had announcement yesterday, Wolf. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's holding trend in all fairness to it. What did you, you know, in a what did you make of that? Uh, okay. Some of these quarterlies that are coming out of the tech stocks are very, very good. The problem is the market just doesn't want to play with them at this point. Um, so you, the market's much stronger than you ever will be, uh, and you've got to watch the dynamics of them. And if, if the market's selling off on the tech side, you've got to lessen your exposure to the tech, tech side 100%. Um, you know, even if you, look, if you look at, I mean, the, 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 the actual trade that you've canceled today, right, DTL, they come up with an excellent update, right? It was as a trade, but the market's saying no. We're not going to even. It doesn't matter how good your report might be. We're still not prepared. There's no investors out there. They're prepared to take it higher in this current market where everything's being sold off. So we looked at DTL. That's that hasn't worked. You know, we called CDA as a no-brainer. It still will be, I think, over time. Like I said, just give it time. But that doesn't want to push it up further, right this time anyway. So it's just the market right now. We're in a little, little bit of a downturn where it doesn't matter how good your report is going to be you're going down right resmed came out mm -hmm. with an announcement today i mean uh it had a earnings downgrade and it's below trend so if you if anyone's in that they'd obviously should have sold last week and if they're still in it um i think they've got to get out yeah that's probably going back to 30 isn't it by the looks of things yeah definitely maybe even lower wolf mm -hmm. uh av1 mm -hmm. uh well how do you what do you think of that quarterly wolf yeah, look, it's, it's going to be, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be patience with this one. Uh, you know, we've spoken to the management. Uh, we know they're coming up a load base. And to get to, you know, from 1 million to 10 million, 
it's going to take time. It's probably going to take two or three years time to get there. Um, and it's still going to be strong growth to get there. But that's, that's the nature of it. You know, market right now saying small revenues, we're just not quite interested. We still want to see profitability and all the other things that go with it. So it's going to be a struggle street, but it's for those long-term shareholders that really love the story, which we obviously do, um, that, you know, you might be interested in it. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, Wolf, um, Wiser. Yes. Um, another strong announcement in, from a company in this uh, sector of lending money to people. Mm. Uh, again, the market doesn't want to know, does it? Does exactly. It? I mean, look at the look at PLT and look at uh, Wiser. Both came up with very strong 100% growth figures, right? You can argue about the valuation. Yep, absolutely. You know, what's what's high, what's low in this current market? But I don't, I don't think anyone knows. The market's sorting itself out at the moment. So we'll probably know in three months' time what's what's a good price to pay for this. Um, the other thing is they improved the bottom line too, because remember, we really didn't like the quarterly, previous quarterly, which really set it, set it backwards, where they spent that 5 million bucks on the Olympic advertising, um, which was really unnecessary for me, um, because they're still growing at exactly the same rate that they were beforehand. So that 5 million is gone, unfortunately. They've improved that. Uh, the bottom line shrunk beautifully to almost being cash flow neutral. So, you know, all your numbers, you're looking pretty good. The only thing you can say to yourself in this current climate is um, with interest rates rising and probably the costs rising on finance, right? And this, as a, this is a finance company. Is this going to be, maybe that's why the market's sort of marking these things in this space down because the, the, the cost of money will cost them pretty much. Right, Wolf. Five, GG. Mm -hmm. I mean... You you were big on this stock. This was this is your stock for the your yearly. Well, stock. you told me it's my stock for the year. Anyway, I have to go with it now. You just just keep going and hopping well, on. Well, last year you were bottom of, you were bottom of everybody, and you complained that everyone went first. So I let you go first. It looks I don't, like but I don't want to, I'm happy to do everyone to go first. Well, it looks like mind. it's okay. It looks like you're going to be bottom again. Yeah, thanks. Uh, 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 that's fine. Uh, we, we're sort of used yeah, to. It was, it was okay. The, the, pro the problem that you can see the problems. You know, I, I suppose showing up in the in the in the report today which is the supply chain issues they are trying to expand the network right uh in plus the problem is perth is just closed right it's it's like a fortress in, in perth no one can get in go get out at the moment um so they are struggling with growth right now even though they had a pretty good report it, it's probably going to take them i set them back probably six months 12 months uh with that not surprising to see share price action like that you got to be out. Oh, I just love to see you uh, have to squirm, Wolf. Ah, look, I, I, I squirm all. Uh, <laughs> look, I've even I, I even gave you a problem with your internet connection. Yeah, um, thanks. Um, Probably Wolf, 5G. Look at Z1P. By God, still going down, Wolf. Yes. No, no prisoners, is there? Nah. All right. Uh, buy now, pay later. Space unprofitable. Down they go. How how long can they go, Dave? That's other questions. Because remember, we said, oh, you know, six dollars is the last line of defense. We've got to get out before then. We did. We had to push the button, and people said, "Nah, you're crazy." Half the gain, right? Can it go back to a dollar forty? Yep. Well, I think it looks like easily a dollar. Mm. Are you going to you buy this? Are you going to say dollar twenty, dollar forty, maybe? Mm. That's unbelievable, isn't it? Think about 12 months back, you think this this is no way going back to a dollar and it's on the way. It's crazy. It was 14 14 dollars. It just shows you you know when wolf and I think the good point is that the market can move in extraordinary ways and you know when you look at the Dow and we're saying you know we're saying on a on that uh, monthly chart really it's it's very normal for it to come back here even here where it was like 2 years ago, right? With a decent correction. I mean People might say, but, 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 but like I said, also, Dave, don't fight the markets. Don't fight your stocks. We're in there to make money. So if the markets, because remember, the forces of the markets are much stronger than you ever will be. And they're much more, you know, they've got the much the, the power to stay much longer than you ever will be. Right. So you're going to go grow broke before the market does. <laughs> so don't fight the market. Uh, Wolf, but we did have one good news today, and obviously it's not a buy; it's below trend, and even with the good news, it's it's still flat for the week, right? Mm. It's mm. PTG. So, 
tell us what you like about PTG. It's 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 one of those companies that's it will make my list of what to buy over the next you know weeks uh, with this correction going on. Uh, and today's announcement was to me extremely strong. Right, you've got a really good good growth uh, top line. Um, they are cash flow positive, which is a big in this market. You know, you got you got to hold on to these stories and go, come on, give me something, something good. So it's it is cash flow positive. Plus, the management still doing extraordinarily well with positioning this company for growth for the next two or three years. New modules coming on board. You know, the acquisitions that they're making. What a capital raising they did at about eighty cents, Dave, not too long ago. <laughs> yeah. Thank God for that, right? So they played everything so far perfectly right, except the market's obviously against them, but it is against everything out there at the moment. So for me, it's the one I'd be probably nibbling on over the next six, eight weeks. Right, okay. For the long term, for the long term. This is, this is gonna be probably one of the, you know, one of the winners, I'd say, over the next three years. Okay, well, we're not buying this yet, Wolf, because it's too, we're gonna wait for this trend line to come down. Fair enough. Right, it's too 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 risky, Wolf. Yeah, yeah. Look, it's it. You know, to to dip your toes at the moment, you have to probably have nutleys of steel. All right, but we do have nutleys of steel on four stocks. Yes. And the difference is that these, because these are making money, right? Yes. Correct. Right. So we're going to have a look, at, and that's and it, it's and what's important is that we start differentiating now with this changing market. Mm -hmm. Stocks that are not making money and stocks that are making money. Uh, profitable and growing profitably, yeah. right? This is a right. very, very big, important thing here. So, so, what, VLG. so what we want to do is that research has shown, rather than just buy the dip, what we believe here at Equity Story, this correction will go on for the next six, seven, eight weeks mm -hmm. until we hit a bottom. So what we're thinking with these stocks is look how much you want in them and just buy a little bit every week. For the next eight weeks, yeah. How yep. does that sound, Wolf? So, yeah. Look, I like the I like the idea is because we don't know, you know, what the lows will be of these things, right? Well, so, Wolf, it, Wolf, it's not an idea. It's to stick, statistically proven to be the best way to buy stories in a downturn. Yeah. All right. Well, look, okay. I I like facts, right? I'm a fact type of based guy, so I like if you tell me stuff like that. It's it's statistically proven. I'm all for it then, right? So if you do that, you are probably going to pick up some of these stories at a reasonable price. Um, because like I said, we don't know next week what the market's going to do. We don't know what the following week. So if you just stagger your buying, say, over the next six weeks, so eight times you buy the buy this story, for example, hopefully you'll get a decent price. All right. So we're going to go mm -hmm. through these stories and uh, we've got, we're going to do JLG. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously a great growth story, making profits. Yep. OCL. Yep. Likewise, I mean, you know, this story even recently was trading at 20, 30% higher. Mm -hmm. uh, PWH, mm -hmm. now we're going to put these on monthly charts. Obviously, it's a, a little bit below the trend, so, but it's a story long term making profits that we think uh, is going to be a very, very strong story. Yep. And CDA, which is obviously again uh, below the weekly trend, but we put it as a no brainer. Now, it's still struggled, hasn't it, Wolf, really, to be honest? Uh, but the idea is just nibble away at this one over the next eight weeks. And I think when the, once the market turns, hopefully uh, people are going to be very well rewarded with these stories. Yeah, I'd, one hopes so. You know, we've looked at these stories uh, for long enough, right? At least two or three years. <laughs> We're fairly comfortable to know how they travel, you know, what sort of profits they make, what the market actually is. So we're happy with those stories to nibble. So normally we wouldn't be looking at anything at all, at all except, you know, when, we, when start, things start to turn. We got to look at some stories that we think could be at the bargain basement, and we, let's call them the bargain basement stories, right? That have been sold off, that are still traveling extremely well um, fundamentally, but because the market's saying no, because maybe they're too expensive, or whatever, for whatever reason, um, it gives us an opportunity, which will probably we've always hoped for, we've always prayed for, right? Dave, whenever on the top market we go, I wish we just had a bit of a pullback and buy it. Here it is. Yeah, this is it. I mean, this is. This is the gift, right? The gift that yes. we've been waiting for. So, yeah, right. So those stocks to nibble on over the next uh, sort of mm -hmm. seven to eight weeks are JLG, mm -hmm. yep. OCL, mm -hmm. PWH, yep. uh, and CDA. Yep. And obviously, we're going to put a trend on US dollar because 
uh, your stall is doing very, very well. And uh, their growth was pretty good, you're saying, Wolf? Yeah, it was over 5%. So I, that's that's a nail in the coffin for me. This, the rates are going up in the US. Um, and I'd say, you know, first cap of the rank, US going through a interest rate rising cycle, it's going to definitely drive the US dollar much higher. It, the, the, it's just, you know, like moths to a, to a light. It, this will be very, I think, very positive for the for the US dollar. So especially if for, you know, look at the Australia, they're lagging behind in that um, inflation. So I'll maybe our ra- interest rate rising cycle will be a little bit delayed than everyone else. Uh, so it definitely gives that, that, that trade a, a boost for me. So I'm looking at the 14 bucks for sure. On that note, Wolf, absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much. And uh, we are live in about one hour. So I look forward to that, Wolf. Yeah, absolutely. It should be a pretty lively session. Could be, could be about 10 minutes worth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Wolfie. See Cheers. You Bye. Bye.